Even as the coronavirus flare-up overwhelms the world, various different diseases are additionally popping up. Presently, a man from China has tried positive for hantavirus. In this video, we are going to tell you about the hantavirus, its symptoms, how it spreads, diagnosis, its treatment and prevention. In May 1993, an outbreak of an unexplained pulmonary illness occurred in the southwestern United States, in an area shared by Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado and Utah known as the Four Corners. A young, physically fit Navajo man suffering from shortness of breath was rushed to a hospital in New Mexico and died very rapidly. Investigation found that the person was infected with hantavirus. Hantaviruses are a family of viruses spread mainly by rodents and can cause varied disease syndromes in people worldwide. Infection with any hantavirus can produce hantavirus disease in people, such as hantavirus pulmonary syndrome (HPS) and hemorrhagic fever with renal syndrome (HFRS). So how it is spread? Transmission. The virus spreads from rodents to humans if a person comes in direct contact with the urine, feces, and saliva of rodents. There are several other ways rodents may spread hantavirus to people. If a rodent with a virus bites someone, the virus may be spread to that person, but this type of transmission is rare. Scientists believe that people may be able to get the virus if they touch something that has been contaminated with rodent urine, droppings or saliva, and then touch their nose or mouth. Scientists also suspect people can become sick if they eat food contaminated by urine, droppings, or saliva from an infected rodent. Signs and Symptoms Due to the small number of hantavirus cases, the incubation time is not positively known. However, on the basis of limited information, it appears that symptoms may develop between 1 and 8 weeks after exposure to fresh urine, droppings, or saliva of infected rodents. Early symptoms include fatigue, fever and muscle aches, especially in the large muscle groups, thighs, hips, back, and sometimes shoulders. These symptoms are universal. There may also be headaches, dizziness, chills, and abdominal problems, such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. About half of all HPS patients experience these symptoms. HFRS has similar symptoms to HPS but can also cause some serious problems like low blood pressure, acute shock, vascular leakage, and acute kidney failure which can cause severe fluid overload. Late Symptoms 4 to 10 days after the initial phase of illness, the late symptoms of HPS appear. These include coughing and shortness of breath, with the sensation of, as one survivor put it, a tight band around my chest and a pillow over my face as the lungs fill with fluid. Is the disease fatal? Yes. HPS can be fatal. It has a mortality rate of 38%. Diagnosis Diagnosing HPS in an individual who has only been infected a few days is difficult, because early symptoms such as fever, muscle aches, and fatigue are easily confused with influenza. However, if the individual is experiencing fever and fatigue and has a history of potential rural rodent exposure, together with shortness of breath, would be strongly suggestive of HPS. Patients are determined to have HFRS if they have serologic test results positive for hantavirus infection, evidence of hantavirus antigen in tissue by immunohistochemical staining and microscope examination, or evidence of hantavirus RNA sequences in blood or tissue. Treating HPS There is no specific treatment, cure, or vaccine for hantavirus infection. However, we do know that if infected individuals are recognized early and receive medical care in an intensive care unit, they may do better. In intensive care, patients are intubated and given oxygen therapy to help them through the period of severe respiratory distress. For HFRS patient, care includes careful management of the patient's fluid, hydration, and electrolyte, for example, sodium, potassium, chloride 
levels, maintenance of correct oxygen and blood pressure levels, and appropriate treatment of any secondary infections. Dialysis may be required to correct severe fluid overload. Intravenous ribavirin, an antiviral drug, has been shown to decrease illness and death associated with HFRS if used very early in the disease. Prevention Eliminate or minimize contact with rodents in your home, workplace, or campsite. If rodents don't find that where you are is a good place for them to be, then you're less likely to come into contact with them. Seal up holes and gaps in your home or garage. Play straps in and around your home to decrease rodent infestation. Clean up any easy-to-get food, 